What's up, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Good. I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you man. Hey, puppy. I mean, Hi. All of our stuff, we're not all going to fit in Jason. Okay, so I didn't really do much talking as to where I'm at or what I'm doing. Honestly, I don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. But I'm here and I'm fishing uh, with some subscribers. Took me to the juice spot. And uh, yeah, got two over there, two right Come back on. there. I'm st starting off with the Stanko. I heard that's the that's the fire bait to be throwing, but this water's like really clear. I'm guessing it's probably super deep here, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. like real deep. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna fish, catch a couple fish, toss the drone up. Hopefully it's better than I uh, than yesterday. This is such a crazy place. Got one. Oh, first fish. Here we go. It's a little gas. Right here. Oh, yes. Again, why come to California? Tank. Tanks for days. That's that's what we like to see right there. Biggins all day, baby. Big all day. Fish. That's the first fish. That gives me hope. You just need to catch one that's about 15 times that size. But you know, take what you can get. Yeah, what's up? I think we gotta move to the honey hole. Alright, let's go. Honey hole time. This, this isn't the juice. This is like the juice was it. We gotta go to the juice within the juice. The juiciest of them all. Oh, oh, is that a biggin? Oh, that might be a biggin. No. Don't think so? Dude, that looks like a biggin to me. That's a, that's a little better though. Yeah. A big old mouth on him. Yeah, that's actually, I mean, that's not a bad fish. Killing the Stanko. I'm throwing the Stanko, so I don't have the Stanko touch right now. There you go. Nice. Big one I caught here, dude. It was literally. The oh, there's one. a bite. Yeah. Oh. Well. Oh, he came off. He came off. He came off. We're good. Oh, he. Look at that. He didn't even have the hook. He. The... He legit just ate the sanko. He's just like, nah, dude. Well, that dude scurred me pretty hard, but. <laughs> I don't think he was very big. He kind of felt like a little baby pecking at it, but, you know, ten pounders do that too. So, I cast right where you like, kind of right where you were. I think they're all kind of stacked. They're just they're just oh, wow. chilling in there, a little juice hole. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah. Yep. Flare's on. Oh, finally. Oh, I don't think it's very big, but you know what? At this point, I'll take it. Oh my gosh. 10 pounder. Right there. I'm telling you, this is why I come to California, dude. <laughs> this is why I come to California. Same thing yesterday. Caught the same size fish yesterday. Come to California. You guys catch California birds. <laughs> Put me on the juice. Got the skunk out of the boat, even though we're not on a boat. And. Yeah, we're making progress. That was the old Stanko. Well, we are making a move. I've caught one fish. We've, I think well, we've seen like three fish catch. Yeah, three fish caught out of us. And then that one dude, he's been catching a whole bunch. So we're gonna go to this point and uh, try to find some bigger fish. The flare fish curse has followed me to this place, the gold mine. And uh, I'm trying to break that today. A TV thing or something? Oh, there's fish. Oh my God, he came off. Okay, that was a big one. Yeah, it was, holy. That was a big one. He completely had my rod bent. Come on. There's a fish. Yep, yep. Oh, that's a good one too, I think, I think. It's a little better. Oh yeah. It's a little better. One and a half. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, I think that might have been the same dude. Yeah. Yeah, I left it over there. Come here, little buddy. Okay. That's a good one. Oh, oh, that's a two. Yeah, that's easily a two. Probably two. He's pretty heavy. Two and a quarter, maybe. There we go. That's uh, the biggest one so far that we've seen come out. I think today out of just out of just our group. That dude at the sink. I think that might have been the dude I missed, and uh, he came back. They're just they're just nibbling on it though. All right, get a get a release on Sarah here. See ya, Sarah. Wow, Sarah, Sarah uh, done screwed up the lens, but that was a good fish. Woo! Barely! Where? 
Damn, son. Wait, All right, we're good. Oh, that. You don't want to do that. All right, well, you don't want to do what I just did. Don't stand on. Oh, I think I'm a fish. Oh, I got a fish. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> is he still there? He is still there. Look at he's way over there, but he's in the bush. Oh, come here, buddy. Okay, well, tip for the day, you uh, got to stand on a little cliff, fall in the water, and uh, that little little twitch of your rod when you're trying to get yourself back up is how you how you catch the fish. Oh, you got one? Yes, sir. Oh, hot dog. We got doubles. It's coming for the jump. Ooh, yours is way bigger than mine. No, that looks like a Mariah to me. There you go. That actually is a good fish, dude. That's a chunk fish. On the uh, little creature bait, huh? Just about fell in the water right here. I was standing, all of a sudden it just like gave away and I was like on my ass. It's like getting up, I go grab my rod and I have a fish on. I've got a fish on right now. <laughs> There's one. I don't know if it's, it's not very big That's either. You... Oh! oh. <laughs> I can't get him. Get it, Mike? Mike, if that was Mike, Mike totally wouldn't got that fish. He came off! <gasps> oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow. I must I must I should have checked my line you, on that. You lose her flare? I lost her, dude. She's gone. Okay. Well, if that was Mike, Mike definitely would have been in the water. <laughs> Given that these are my only pair of shues, I was not gonna risk it. Does that count it for? Okay, we're counting that, that one. Was a quick release. It was just a quick release, <laughs> yeah. just a quick release is all. I got three. I got one. Hog though. Adam got one. Oh, you got one? Alright. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, let's not fall in the water here. It almost feels a little better. Does it's it feel good? Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's better. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely better. Barely. Swim bait, huh? Throwing the stanko and Adam's hooked up. <laughs> swim bait. You got one? Oh! Come on. Come on. Get up here. Oh my gosh. Flare fish. <laughs> Boy? Flare is hooked up. That is the California brute. You got, you got a little fishy flare? Yeah, dude. Oh, through the eye? Yeah, he's, he's going to be blind now. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I got. Okay, I'm. There's a fish. <laughs> I'm over here texting, and it about ripped the rod out of my hand. There he is. We're on the juice, dude. We found it. Spent a little, spent a little time scouting with the drone. Found the juice. See you, buddy. All right, I've got like six or seven bass now. No big ones though. We we're struggling to find the the slaunches, the Marias. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Still throwing that stank. I might mix it up and throw a big bait on and uh, see if we can catch a big one. So we are moving along here, trying to find some more fish and uh, bigger fish. We've caught quite a few fish, I think, between all of us, at least a dozen. But we're going to keep on going and hopefully hook into a big one real quick. As of right now, we are taking a quick break. Going to go grab food and then, uh, and then come back and go catch fish. There we go, in and out burger, fries, shake, the goods. Best part of coming to California is in and out We made it to the second pond. I'll show you real quick what this thing looks like. Maybe. Yeah, are those bees? Oh, hell no. What the? That's what it looks like. There's a bunch of bee boxes around us, so we're, uh, John would be losing his absolute tons of bees. All right, all right, let's go fishing. A few moments later. We are leaving the spot. We're going to plan B. Ha! Get it? Plan B. Because of uh because of the bees, we none of us are really big fans. So we're gonna hike on our way out of here and see if we can get to a diff different spot on the lake. Well, I don't even know if this is a lake where there aren't bees. Oh, flare! We're good. We're good. <laughs> Made it to another spot. This is quite the adventure. We're just hiking through all these like little rock quarry type, I don't even know what these are to be honest, but we're, we don't know if there's fish in here, so we're gonna find out. All right, so we are uh, at the new place, starting with the old Stanko. 
Not sure if there's a whole lot of fish in this little this little joint, so probably gonna fish a little bit and then call it a day. Long day, long day of fishing. Not not a ton of big ones, but we caught some. Hoping to hoping to finish the day with one more big one. Oh, that was a fish. Yeah, that was for sure a fish. All right, we are hiking our way out of the gold mine. And uh, we caught, I didn't catch any. I had one bite right away and we caught one. Basically just spent the time flying the drone around, having fun with that. But we're gonna head back to the trucks and film a little bit more just as kind of the day goes on. It's only three o'clock, so we've got a little time to kill. Not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing. I am ending the video where it began, which is in my hotel room in Sacramento, California. So today was a little bit different. It was kind of an interesting video. I met up with, uh, I think five subscribers or uh, something like that, five or six of them. Super chill dudes, uh, had a great time fishing with all of them. And uh, they took me to this like, it was a gold mine or something like that. They, they weren't really sure what it is. They, they, you know, it's a dredge where basically they just like take rocks out for whatever purpose. And uh, there were bass in there. For some, I've never fished that, and I never would have thought to fish it. And we so we started out, and it was pretty slow. And uh, eventually, we started catching a few fish. I think once the water warmed up, what happened is, you know, it gets really cold. It gets down in the 30s at nights. So um, it, once the water kind of warmed up, it's, we started catching fish. So we kept fishing it for a little bit, and uh, as you guys can see, we caught some fish. I think, I mean, together our group probably caught 25 bass. No big ones. I think I might have had the big fish for the day. Um, we didn't weigh any of them, of course, but one of mine was a, a pretty decent sized bass. Uh, for what they were telling me, they said there's some hogs in there. There were some eight and nine pounders that have been caught out of there, uh, but normally that's in the spawn and stuff like that, which is not right now. And then we went to another uh, dredge mining, gold mine, concrete factory looking thing, and uh, it turns out there were boxes of bees everywhere. Like, I don't know how well you guys could hear it if they were buzzing, but like, it was a constant buzzing sound. Bees were landing on us. None of us got stung, fortunately, uh, but it was just, you know, it's one of those things you don't really want to mess with. So then we left, we went to another one, and we basically just drove all around, and uh, I tossed the drone up, and hopefully you guys enjoyed some of those dope drone shots, and if you did, leave a like and let me know down below. For me, it's like starting, you not starting YouTube over again, but like it's adding one more element to the filming that I haven't had in a while. I haven't, ha haven't had that moment of like, where something is so fresh and new to these vlogs. Um, now that I, I mean, I know I'm late to the, the drone bandwagon, I guess you could say. Uh, I wanted to wait for a practical one to come out, which I got the Mavic, and I'll link it down below if you guys want that one. And it, it's super practical for what I do, and I love it. And uh, it really just, to me, it really makes the videos better. Even if the fishing isn't very good, it still makes the videos a little bit better, especially I'm in California. This state is absolutely gorgeous. I can't get over uh, how beautiful it is and how cool the, the fisheries we fish today are. And the drone just really conveys that message of just how awesome the uh, the lakes and the bodies of water we are fishing today. But I don't want to talk too much longer. If you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Always hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed. So I'm in California now. I'm going to fly home tomorrow morning and uh, stay home for about a day. And then I think I'm going to, I might do this. I might drive down to Missouri to go hunting with two of the Googans. And uh, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to drive home. Spend uh, the weekend with the family doing some Christmas, early Christmas stuff. And then the following week, I think I'm going fishing in Kansas. And then possibly deer hunting right after that. And then that is Christmas. And then uh, hang out with the family, of course. Then the day after Christmas, headed back down to Texas. Um, basically just a bunch of traveling, a ton of traveling. So you guys are enjoying the travel vlogs. Let me know because you're going to see more. So hopefully you do enjoy them. And if you don't, I'm sorry. I'll try my best to do non-traveling. I don't know if any of you guys hate traveling or not, but... I try not to make them too repetitive. I won't make this outro any longer. Thank you so much for watching. I can't thank the guys who took me out today enough. I mean, I had no way of getting around. I have no car. I have no no form of like reasonable transportation. I, I didn't have any fishing rods. I just brought some reels. They gave me their gear, uh, gave me some baits, and uh, showed me a really fun time fishing in California. So huge shout out to those dudes. Thank you all so much for watching, making it possible for me to enjoy my life every single day. That's all I've got. Peace. I got thorns in my ass. <laughs>
Oh, he did fall. That was impressive. Oh,